So if you're just sitting around and a friend calls you and says, hey, I've got an underwater drone. Do you want me to send it to you? The answer is... Hey guys, Jeff here with Triton's Realm, and today we're with Lyle with Everything Scuba. With Everything Scuba. So you guys have an awesome channel where you talk about a lot of instructional stuff, uh, but today you've come packing some toys, right? We, we did. We brought down an, uh, an eye bubble. Uh, it's a French product, uh, an underwater autonomous drone. So we're going to put it through its paces, right? Nice. Yeah. Well, let's get it wet. Let's get it in the water and see what this thing can do. Awesome. Let's I'm go. forward to it. All right, Lyle, we got a couple things here. Looks like we got to add on. We've got... Uh, We've got a GoPro, it comes with its own camera, right? but uh, we've got a mount right up in here for a GoPro. So we're gonna add that on there and see what kind of footage we can get. Okay. And then, uh, then we got a remote control. So uh, I think the diver kind of holds on to this guy. And we've got, uh, we've got a little clip that looks like it goes on top of our BC and this is the antenna that floats behind us. All right. All right. So it's got a, it's kind of like an RC car. I guess so. Yeah. Let's go uh, take it for a test drive. Let's do it. All right. Okay, first things first. This thing is crazy cool, but like the instructions say, it's definitely not a toy. And that's obvious from the beginning. This thing is pumping out a ton of power and it's insane. It was completely unexpected. But the seven propellers up there, man, are just kicking it at the surface. And wow, surprise, right? But it's kind of our fault for just really skipping to step three in the instructions, which is put it in the water. Steps one and two are necessary, which are synchronizing the remote control and setting up the transmitter and all that kind of good stuff in advance, but definitely not as fun as just putting it in the water. But if you guys want to see a little bit about our unboxing and a little bit about the setup, uh, we've got some great information in the unboxing video of the iBubble underwater drone linked above here on the everything scuba channel and below in the description there so definitely check out that video on the everything scuba channel but man we're ready just to kick it and get going so we get out of the shallow water into some clearer water where we haven't kicked up all the sand and the drone is right behind me which is awesome now it's time to try out some different modes all right we're putting it into follow mode so it's tracking me Let's see if we can head a little deeper. Let's see what this thing does. But it's definitely following us so far. So follow mode is it should follow my direction while staying at a set distance and adapting to my current depth. It should be following me down the sloping sandy bottom as we get deeper and deeper which it totally does. It's awesome. It's right behind me tracking kind of the whole way on out to the dive site here, which we're at the Frederickstead Pier in St. Croix in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Yeah, we're coming up on a sea turtle here, a nice little green sea turtle. Chilling out on the reef. We're going to try to leave him be. Pass him by. We've got our drone here with us. Let's see what the drone does. Hey, drone hits a sea turtle. There we go. I don't think the sea turtle cared. Okay, so our first fail with the underwater drone has to do with the GoPro that we mounted on the front of it. The GoPro is inside an underwater housing, and that underwater housing has on it two red filters. But we're not using those red filters, so they're just there, taking up some space. And there's not enough space in the front of the drone to accommodate them. And as a result, our GoPro is actually angled downward just a little bit. But what that means is all the footage from the GoPro for our dive from the drone is of my fins or part of the other divers. What we really learned through the dive is that that GoPro on the front really needs to be facing completely forward in order to get the best footage. So we're definitely gonna adapt it and do that on the next dive. So the eye bubble's been sticking with us really well here. After 15 minutes, we really haven't lost it. 
about 18 feet of water now. It stays in the same depth as the antenna that's floating up behind me here, which makes total sense. So it's not actually tracking you, it's tracking the antenna. So the smart thing to do would be to try different modes, such as leading or circling or staying, but that doesn't sound like as much fun as obstacle avoidance. So after only 20 minutes of dive time with the iBubble underwater drone, we head out under the Frederickstead Pier, where there are these giant concrete columns that are covered with really delicate sea life that we do not want to touch or disturb in any way. So we've got some safety divers with us to make sure that that definitely doesn't happen, but we are putting the iBubbles obstacle avoidance system to the test here. All right, we're gonna head between the columns here. Let's see if it'll track with us. All right, here we go. Here column test. Let's not hit anything. So far, so good. Keep our antenna free and clear. Okay. I think our eye bubble is censored. Some interference is trying to figure out its way through. Not real sure which way to go yet. Still centered in between them. It hasn't hit anything. So, still, still hasn't hit anything. So that's good. And it looks like it's successfully through. That's pretty impressive. Amazing that it could detect both and then figure out a safe way through them. We're gonna try it one more time. Maybe we'll push our luck here, I don't know. But we're putting the eye bubble through its paces. Alright, it's still right on me. It's tracking that antenna. Still in follow mode. Let's turn around and see where it's at. It's a little close to one column. But it hasn't hit anything, and it's safely through. This thing is pretty cool. I gotta say, that's impressive. So obstacle avoidance looks to work really, really well. It needs to maintain one and a half meters on any side of the drone, and if it can't, it's going to disarm itself, essentially shut itself down, and then float up to the surface. It's just slightly positively buoyant, so you can collect it up there. Underwater, it travels at a speed of one and a half meters per second, and it works to maintain its position by using an acoustic transmitter in the remote combined with four hydrophones that are listening on the drone to triangulate and maintain its position. And it looks to work really, really good. Throughout the entire dive, it always stuck with us and listened to every command we gave it. And again, there are different modes that, that you can put the eye bubble into. We mainly use follow mode, but there's circle mode where it slowly turns around the diver continuously. There's lead where you can turn into it and it'll reverse and stay in front of you. Stay mode lets it stop and hold its position until you change it on the remote. You got to be careful not to get too far away from it because if you do, you could have signal loss. And at that point, if it loses its signal, it's going to head up to the surface and then you can pick it up up there. So there's tons of modes that you can place it into. A July update this year as well added several other modes like buddy mode and there is a ride mode where you can use it like a sea scooter. We didn't have an opportunity to try that but we're looking forward to doing that here in another video real soon. But there's all kinds of cool stuff that you can do with this. So come to me works good. I can use it to film whatever I want. I like this beautiful little sea turtle down here. Well, Lila, it was a pretty great dive here at the that pier. That was awesome. Yeah. We had some more turtles, but uh, we got to take out the drone here. Yeah. And, and, and 
did what it said it would do on the box. I think it did. I think it was completely uh, performing as advertised. I ran it through several different modes there, and every time it seemed to quickly respond and stuck with me the whole time. It did. Yeah. yeah. So that was that was pretty cool. So I think uh, overall, I think the underwater drone here with the eye bubbles uh, is a pretty neat toy. It's a pretty neat toy. Yep. Uh, we might have to try a night dive with it sometime too. I think so. All right. I, I think we're going to have to up the game All right. and, and just do that. Throw it out there at night on the reef, on the wall, see what happens. Cool. All right, guys, we'll look for that video and definitely check out the unboxing video we did there with uh, everything Scuba and Lyle. But right, guys, if you enjoyed this one, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you never miss a dive. And definitely check out another one of our videos here at the end. But right, guys, thanks for joining us. I think the underwater drone was a, was a winner. We'll see you next time. Take it easy.